taking it in. Give me a two seconds. Okay. So, you know, I write all this stuff down and then I get up here and it's like, poof. <laughs> but, um, That's what we were just talking about, <laughs> isn't it? Poof. Yeah. So, I've always kind of manifested, but not, you know, bigger things, just little things. I wanted this, I wanted that. Are you saying that when your desire and your expectation were close, it happened quickly? But when your desire and your expectation are further apart, then it doesn't happen as fast. Correct. Yeah, we thought that's what you were saying. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Precisely. So, all of a sudden I feel like I have all these new desires that I'm very excited about, and I don't share them. We're going to interrupt you like this because it's fun. Uh -huh. I like fun. Love fun. We know. <laughs> we never give anyone something that they're not able to take. <laughs> but when you said all of a sudden, that's such an interesting thing because it took a while for you to get there and your awareness seems sudden, but you've been a long time coming to it. And so when you say all of a sudden, another way of saying that might be, I'm coming into full awareness of, yeah. And I know exactly what I want. Yeah. And I even put people in there too. Yeah. People that I know already. And maybe some people I don't know. And I have the whole plan. And I just want to know, am I crazy? Or? Well, pretty much. <laughs> but this is what we want you to realize is happening. Because sometimes it happens like that and sometimes not quite like that. When it happens like that, what's happening is just what we were talking about. You've calibrated yourself to this higher frequency, to the frequency of your inner being. And then you're now suddenly, it seems suddenly, even though you've been a while coming to it, now you're in a position where you can receive the clarity of your inner being. So it feels like it was sudden, but it wasn't sudden and it is powerful. And you can tell that it's powerful. I feel it. Yes. So that's what's happening. Okay. So am I just right on the edge of it? Like all the I, time. Am all I going to like, is it going to, like, I'm like, not that I'm trying to force it to happen because I stopped doing well, that. We know you're not trying to force it to happen, but what you are doing, which you don't mean to do and you don't really want to do is you're focused upon what hasn't quite happened yet. Anytime someone says, am I on the brink? What they mean is when's this sucker coming when in? Is, yeah. <laughs> Right. But this is the thing that we want you to really take in, all of you. We want you to feel this. You are always eternally going to be on the brink of letting the next come in and the next come in. That's what turning thoughts to things, that's what it is. When you let that be okay, because that's the way it always is, then you take focusing upon the absence of it out of the equation. Can you feel how that is? When you understand that there's always going to be something more, it causes you to not focus on the absence of the thing that hasn't come yet. Satisfied with what is and eager for more is the perfect emotional state. Now, a lot of humans, they don't want to hear that because they're afraid because they remember when they were with their mother <laughs> that if they acted satisfied, then no more good stuff came. Kind of like, you got all you need, stop it. And so people are sometimes afraid that if they say, I'm satisfied, then the universe will say, well, that one's satisfied. Who else is needy? But the universe doesn't operate that way. It's not like that. When you feel satisfaction, you are without resistance. And when you are without resistance, you're allowing what's in your vortex to be realized by you. It's already been revealed, but there's a difference between it being revealed and you realizing it. And the difference between it having been revealed and you realizing it is what state of vibration you are in in any moment in time so when you feel like you're on the brink of something you're not in the state of totally receiving it there's still some resistance in your vibration that isn't quite letting it in so you want to just sort of talk that down a little bit by saying things like things are always working out for me and it's in a state of unfolding and I like watching it unfold and it's fun to watch it unfold and I'm not ever gonna get it done and in fact I don't ever want to get it done I like life constantly queuing up new desires for me and me finding more ways to identify the vibration of my desire and isolating myself to and calibrating myself to it that's what makes it delicious if you've wanted something and you know you're off from it and then you 
focus deliberately and you can feel you're on it and you feel yourself feeling satisfied and you begin to feel ease around it you know you're calibrating to it and then you witness the unfolding of the events that is so much more satisfying than if something just drops in your lap because you're a resistant 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 and then something helped you to focus for a moment in non-resistance that's that jerky thing that we're talking about you can be in a state of non-resistance as you're inspired by someone else could happen in this room you could be at a concert you could be with a friend who is very clear and focused in other words you find yourself by default being in a state of allowing quite often but unless you're doing it deliberately and on purpose it will never really be satisfying to you but when you know what the steps are and you know how it feels to be in a state of resistance and how it feels to be in a state of less resistance and how it feels to really tune yourself to a state of well-being then Esther's been calibrating herself deliberately in this way some years ago one of the first questions Jerry asked of us was are there laws are there any things that we can just know that always are and we said there's the law of attraction which is steady and always responding to what's going on the law of attraction says and means that which is likened to itself is drawn and then we explained it further made a recording about it the second one was we called it the law of deliberate creation it's more of a process than a law but what it means is you can create by default or you can create deliberately you can offer vibrations in response to what you're observing a lot of people can live pretty well just doing that or you can be deliberate about the way you focus yourself and that's what we talk about all day when we are together like this then there is the we called it the law of allowing but it's the art of allowing it's getting so good at knowing when you are in sync with what you want and so addicted to the feeling of satisfaction and well-being that comes from that that you just do it all the time the next thing that we offered to Jerry and Esther was segment intending and what we were encouraging them to do is to focus in the now segment that they were in segment intending we weren't using these words in those days to identify and isolate and calibrate your vibration to who you really are and what you want but that's what we mean by segment intending so when Esther sits to identify a segment her desire is to through what she's writing on her page generate within herself a feeling that indicates a point of attraction that will be pleasing when it comes it's like in this segment identifying emotional states of being and focusing on them until she can feel them moving in her because she understands that if she will do that in this segment that as she moves forward into what comes next what comes next will behave in the way that she has calibrated Esther thought that segment intending meant I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to go over there and so universe get them all lined up so that when I get there they're behaving the way they need to when I get there now she understands that what segment intending is is accomplishing her own point of attraction so that when she takes herself and her own point of attraction into the next segment whether it's a room full of people or a highway full of automobiles or an airport full of fellow travelers that what she will experience will be a vibrational match to what she's already calibrated to does that make sense yeah. so you're not controlling the behavior of others you're just identifying your own point of attraction and the law of attraction will only bring you cooperative components most people are a mixed bag as you're walking through the airport and so you get some of everything you're a mixed bag when you're in traffic you like your car and you hate the traffic and so you get some of everything that you're calibrated to as what we call creation by default or sloppy thinking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so okay I get it but do you see it happening <laughs> mm. I get the steps I get the process I am a little hard-headed but do you see it the reason that we're inclined to stubbornly deny your request <laughs> is because it's as if you haven't heard anything that we've said I in did. the entire day that we've been here together I did. what you're asking here we'll answer your question but we're going to torture you first. torture me I know you are 
what we're wanting you to get from this conversation that we've had is that you create your own reality and that how you feel is your indicator of how you're doing and we've said several times today that the thing that keeps most people from getting more of what they want is their attention to what is and then we said something so important and this is the part we think you missed and that is that most people offer their vibration in response to what they're already seeing and they're not willing to find the vibrational essence of something and feel satisfied until they see it and so you were playing that same game with us Abraham I can't see it but if you can see it I will feel better <laughs> if you yeah. can see it then I will use what you see as my reason to feel better and we say right. then ah, you've missed the point, point. I got you. because now you're doing the same thing that the every same thing that I was just doing before so don't yeah, do that don't do that we want you to find the feeling place we want you to feel it before you see it and so what we do if you watch us and this is a room full of teachers who are watching a teacher what we always do we start with what you already know and we talk about what you already know which causes you to become a cooperative component to what you already know do you understand that you create your own reality yes. do you understand that you have a point of attraction that all things around you are responding to yes. do you understand that there are two ways to know how you're doing one is how you're feeling right now and the other is what's manifesting what's manifesting is post manifestational awareness how you feel is pre manifestational awareness well you were trying to straddle that you were trying to give us to give you some post manifestational awareness in other words what do you see Abraham what do you see and we say if you feel negative emotion you can know that we see the opposite of what you see okay how about that yeah so if you yeah. if you feel doubt yeah, that should let you know that we see something other than doubt okay. So ask your question in a different way. We think you are enlightened now. I am. I'm excited.